Hi guys, it's Sebastian, back with another video for you today at uh, Bruno Fazolari's studio. He's got a new fragrance launching very soon called Uma Guma, and we're going to talk all about it. You're also doing a three samples giveaway, right? That's right. So that's a USA giveaway? USA. All right. We're going to do all that coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel or you have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And that's right, Bruno does have a new fragrance coming out very, very soon. It's called Uma Guma. And Bruno, tell me the inspiration behind this fragrance. Um, Uma Guma is the name of, uh, if you look it up on the internet, you'll find out, an early Pink Floyd album. Mm -hmm. Really crazy Pink Floyd sort of not FM radio friendly, a little bit bizarre. And so this is um, kind of inspired by a wild experience maybe. So chocolate, carnation, tobacco, a little bit slightly boozy right on the first hit. And then uh, a really, really rich amber and resin that just uh, lasts kind of quite a long time. Yeah. Um, you want to smell it? Yeah, let's smell it. Um, I smelled it before though. <laughs> Well, <laughs> but yeah, I'll smell it again. Maybe you can spray it on me. Okay, huh? right on the skin? Yeah. Okay. Great. So, um, what was the inspiration again? Just the album or...? or the... Well, I was, I was in, I wanted to make a really dark, rich, kind of intoxicating fragrance. So the tobacco is in there, mm -hmm. chocolate, things that people associate with maybe like a night out, um, or, night or, or a rock and roll concert, or maybe a night in, I don't know. <laughs> um, and. There's a little carnation, which gives it a, a fresh um, floral note, but it also has, carnation has a very clovey quality, yeah, so it gives, yeah. it gives it a lot of spice. Mm -hmm. um, right off the bat, it's very chocolatey. Super chocolate. Which I like. Yeah. Kind but, of a dark chocolate, I think. Yeah, dark chocolate. And I do pick up the carnation a little bit, yeah. um, but I'm picking up a lot of resins. Resins, so cedar, frankincense, um, cedar as in the tree. Cedar wood, cedar yeah. wood, okay. And then frankincense, sandalwood, those are the main resin notes. And then, of course, um, the amber note is lactanum, which uh, we... Can we smell? Yeah, we can smell that. So that. That's what lactanum is. So, so you call this an amber, then? This is an amber note. There are many amber notes in fragrance. So there's no such thing as amber? There's, well, there is such a thing as amber, but perfumers don't really use it. Okay. Amber jewelry, you can't... A few perfumers use it. But can you extract? You can dissolve it in alcohol. Oh, interesting. Yeah, <laughs> but this is uh, this is um, Ladanum is a rock rose. Yeah, or cistus, and cistus. it's famous part of a shipra. This uses Ladanum in oak moss, mm -hmm. and it appears in a lot of fragrances. It has mm -hmm. a, uh, almost like a honey beeswax. It's very molassesy. Molasses. And it looks like caramel. molasses. <laughs> yeah, it almost smells like something you'd like to eat. Yeah, delicious. Um, so what? Well, so then. How did you come up with the notes idea? Like, did you say, okay, I want to combine chocolate and tobacco and the resins and the, the lactanum, and of course you have benzoin as well. I knew, uh, well, I knew I wanted it to really be about amber. Okay. And I wanted it to be a lot about lactanum, which I think is a very beautiful, rich, complex note. And then I was thinking about how to expand it. And mm -hmm. so benzoin is a natural partner for um, lactanum. Okay. Um, it's the, also a resin from a tree. Uh, it's. Uh, it smells kind of a little bit like some like vanilla. This is what now? Benzoin. Benzoin. So yeah. it's also from a, a, the resin of a tree. Tree. Wow, yeah. that's lovely. Um, so you also have benzoin in, in the so benzoin the jar. In, uh, yeah, the actual. Can we show? But looks yeah. like we can actually. So that's hard benzoin resin. Wow. And where does this come from? Uh, from, a, from a tree. From it's a resin. Tree? It's like tree sap. When you see, a, you know, the tree with exuding sap, this is from a, a tree called uh, the Styrax benzoides. Oh, wow. And um, it takes a little... Styrax benzoides. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, it sounds like... Can I smell? Yeah. So that's a little... The resin smells a little different. Mmm. Wow. Vanillic. Yeah. And this... This is really, really vanillic. As like this opens up, it'll smell... Okay. A little more vanilla. Yeah, this is a lot darker. Yeah. This is a lot sweeter. Well, this has been this has been processed of any impurities. Oh, um, okay. 
So this is a, a keynote uh, in your. Uh, That's one of the major going in here, um, and then Tonka Bean, Tonka Bean, which everybody loves. So these are uh, I've got one that's split up. It's the inside of the Tonka Bean. Oh wow! Actually, you can smell it really well in the jar. Oh, so very almondy. Does it smell the almondy, a little, a little bit powdery, a little powdery, yeah. Uh, well, it reminds me of marzipan. Yeah, mar or and vanilla a little bit too. Somewhere uh -huh. in between those notes. Okay. Not as sweet as almond. No. Yeah. Not. Um, oh. And actually, uh, the dry down has a quality that you can't duplicate in any other material. So there's a lot of tonka, real tonka bean in here, which is unusual. This is lovely, actually. Um, it's smoky. Smoky. And this so is from the resin. That that's smoky is the, well, that would be the lab denim and then also uh, frankincense. Okay. So here, I'll show you the frankincense. Yeah, it's really, really good. That's, those are frankincense tears. Okay. Um, and then. But where does frankincense come from? Also from a tree. It comes from the. Um, uh, Isn't it Kenya? Yeah, no, it's actually Somalia. The, oh, it, Ethiopia. Uh, Somalia. Uh, Ethiopia. Yeah. And it's. Uh, I don't remember the Latin name. Serrata was the first part. It's going to come <laughs> to me. Um, and then tobacco. So oh, that, yeah, that's, that's tobacco. That's a really intense, heavy note. Okay. So, um, and that needs to be, this is a real natural absolute tobacco plant. It's a plant, okay. So you can see it's pretty dark. Careful, it's really strong. Ooh. Powerful, powerful note. Yeah. Um, it needs to really needs to be softened and, and used in dilution, but it's, it has a beautiful. It's smoky. It's really smoky. It's also sort of um, it has a rich, almost. There's a vanilla back note in there, way in the back, but not sweet. So the, like when you add a little vanilla to it, it gets richer. Why, why am I also getting like coffee grounds? Co it's it's a funky note. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, and then of course chocolate. Chocolate. So I'll, I'll let you smell a little bit of that. So when does the fragrance come out? Uh, December 2nd. December 2nd is the launch date. So that's a diluted chocolate. Mm. Wow, that's yeah. yummy. Yeah, very yummy. So this is what you use in the fragrance. Yeah, so between these, I mean, there's actually quite a few more notes than just three, but these are some of the basic kind Basic of notes. And so I want it to be a little bit gourmandy, but also a little bit, uh, have that sort of resiny balance to it. Mm -hmm. It's really lovely, actually. It's um, I thought I thought Beau Sacré was your my favorite of yep. yours, and now this is going to become my favorite cool. because the chocolate I like it, but it doesn't last too long. I mean, it's turned into more of a smoky, you know, resiny. Yeah, it's 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 this full on amber denim. Yeah, uh, that was the that was really the inspiration for for this. Thing. Okay, so do you go and say, okay, I want to use this note. This is going to be the the inspiration, and I'm going to see in, in different the, notes in this combined. Case, in this case, I was really, I've been really in love with Lab Denim for a while, and I was like, how am I going to make a scent that people can embrace that's all about Lab Denim? Mm -hmm. But then it has all these supporting characters, and then Lab Denim has has a very ancient history in the, um, in the uh, Mediterranean, just like a lot of these other materials. Um, and then tobacco and chocolate are from the Americas, and so that balances that out. It's really, really yummy. So you're just starting to package these, I guess. Yeah, right? so these actually, I haven't even labeled this. This morning we were in the shop filling bottles, and awesome. um, this is the first one that actually has a label on it. These don't even have caps. Oh, and we have my poster. Should I show my poster? Yeah, yeah, show me poster. Um, which I just, uh, so these will be available at events. There are only 50 of these. Okay. They're hands fill screen. Um, and so you do a poster for each of your releases, and you're an artist, right? Yeah. So you yeah. draw all of these yourself. I draw them myself, yeah. And mm -hmm. then maybe not every release. Oh, it looks like we're coming up from the wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, not every release, but uh, like maybe once a year. It's actually kind of time-consuming and expensive. To do this. Yeah. So why why black and white? Because I've seen all your posters. Are usually color. They're color, yeah. Is this a dark scent? Is that that's, I, that's kind of what I was thinking. I wanted it to be very dark and, and also... I wanted it to have a bit of the feeling of being out at night mm. somehow, and, and okay. seeing birds and trees and, and uh, Interesting. flowers. Or, you know. Seeing all the vegetation, yeah. and the earth and flora and fauna yeah. at night. If you were wandering around late at night. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so Uma Guma. Uma Guma. Great name. Thank you. Very catchy. Thank you. Where can people buy the fragrance? Um, well, uh, on your website. On my website, uh, Tiger Lily, Twisted Lily. 
Lucky Scent, um, ZGO, ZGO, uh, Fumari, Fumari in Portland. Actually, we're going to have a launch event there on December second. Okay. And how much does it sell for? One twenty-five. One twenty-five. It's a thirty ml. Thirty ml. Okay. Super handmade. Yeah. Awesome. So we're doing the three sample set, uh, samples giveaways yeah. to three lucky subscribers of this channel. Um, what should we What should we do for the rules? What is your favorite chocolate fragrance? What is your favorite Pink Floyd song? What's your favorite Pink Floyd song? All right. What's your favorite Pink Floyd song? And if you don't have a favorite Pink Floyd song, what's your favorite chocolate uh, fragrance? I guess. Um, Please put that comment down and also put your state since this is a USA giveaway and we'll randomize the three uh, people at the top will get a sample. Anything else? I think that's it. That's it? Okay. Yeah. Guys, if you want to find out more information about Uma Guma or other Bruno Fazolari fragrances, please click the link in the info box that should take you to Bruno's website. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please list below. Let me know if you've tried Bruno Fazolari fragrances so we can get a conversation started. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Take care.